So it's been a couple of days up here with the cows and the ewes in this paddock, put them into. And if you remember back a while ago, they stood on this um, fitting and broke it off and they've done the same again. So I'm gonna give the camera to Jenna and uh, you're leading the dog, okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll see how bad it is, see if I've got the gear to fix it. So is it just under their weight and the wetness? Yeah, and I, the way I've plumbed it up. Oh. Yep. It's the only one out of the 11 troughs we put in that's not working as well as it should, so it's not too bad. You've got an audience. Even the sheep. What you probably haven't said on your video is that no such thing as a day off, you're in bed sick yesterday. Yeah. That's what I did to try and drop it down last time to get it further under the ground, but obviously it didn't work. Do you have to get it deep enough so that when the cows stand around it, the weight doesn't go down to it? Yep. So that's what, just snap that off. So we'll see what we've got on the bike and uh, side by side. Would you be able to grab my jacket? Yeah. What have we got? I don't have the right part, so if that's a female, it's a female. <laughs> Two females. Does don't not work. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the plumbing world. Not in the plumbing world, okay guys? Settle down. Um, so we'll have to go home and get some more gear. Then I might grab some extra pipe and and a joiner and extend it and dig it in deeper. Um, yeah, we'll go do that now. Just never know what you're gonna get. No, exactly. Right, snow bro, let's go. Just thinking about this pipe as I go home. Um, if I just continue to put plastic on there, I think they're just gonna muddy it up and it's just gonna do the same. So I'll see if I've got a length of steel galvanised pipe that I can just throw in and um, we can then put the fitting back away from the trough down a bit deeper. Um, so just more robust? Yeah, yeah, and then bring some bigger pieces of timber to put over the top, make, make a frame, screw them off. Because the, the reason that what happened there is I had timber over there but they just pushed them aside, they weren't nailed together or anything. So, oh. well, We'll make it so it's like a lid of a, of a box um, just sitting over top of it. 
and the frame are, like it'll have more strength as well. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know if we need a frame around it as such. Oh, okay. um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Hey, Snowy. Snowy. Should we go see what he's doing? What is he doing? Hey? What's he doing? What are you up to? Off, that I can use for Jeepers. for the extended out a wee bit away from the trough. Where did this pipe come from? Oh, I don't know, just part of my hoarded collection mm. I have here. Is it still hoarding if you have a use for it though? No, I don't believe so. No. But that's what I tell myself anyway. <laughs> Alright, sir. What's been happening? Uh, I think I've sorted out this jigsaw puzzle. So. Detail. That's our bit at the bottom of the trough. And that goes into there. It goes on there. That goes onto there. No, can't. So it just lengthens it out no, so they're not standing right on that next to the trough. No, um, and no. then we've just got to build a, a box, a, a lid so goes over top. Why don't they just stand on it out from the box? Well, I'm going to put a, put a proper box over here. Out from the trough, I mean? Yeah, I'm just going to put a proper box oh, okay. over there. Yeah. But they stand right up next to the trough with their feet, so yeah. hopefully being further away from the trough it'll be drier and um, it would work. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm not sure we, what went wrong here. This is a dog with his bone, except... What do you got? Snowy, what do you got? You're a vegetarian dog. It's a piece of kale. Hey? Snowy. So we come, you can have it. Have you got a piece of kale? It's not a bone. You like it? Yum. Kale. Oh dear. I've come up with a plan. This is our board made out of some old retaining wall timber. It's going to go across the hole so hopefully it'll all be stuck together these buggers won't push it apart and do it again so that goes on second that goes on first that's the joiner we need some limb uh, maybe a sharpener yeah, So we're all connected back together, if you can see that down there. We're just going to clean this out with a half shovel. And then we'll shoot around and turn the water on. Make sure we're all good to go. Oh, I'll pull the good ball cock off too, just in case I've got some crud and mud and stuff in the pipeline.
we'll go and turn the trough on, tap on over here and uh, see what progress we've made. Water's running, pull boards up, turn it off, make sure there's no leaks, and uh, it should be fine, hopefully. So if we just stop that, pull the ball cock up for a second, wait for it to pressurise. Looks to be pretty good there. I don't see any drips. No water moving, which is great. Got a trough down there fixed. Just up here checking these ewes and the cows where they've been grazing. Yeah, still, still plenty of feed in here. Um, bit of gorse starting to come away, but yeah, still plenty of rough stuff down these gullies. You know, they've been sitting on this ridge top here, and then you see them way down the bottom, down the bottom of the paddock, way down there. So, um, yeah, still plenty of feed left in here for these girls. So that's good. So just here at the end of the water scheme, I uh, came up the other day with kids and put this box on. Then I noticed with the frost and the cold, this pipe contracted so much that this is quite tight and it's not what we want. So got another joiner and a wee bit of pipe. We're just going to um, put another joiner in and extend it out a bit, make sure there's a bit of slack in there. You can see how much it's compressed, like, would that be 15 centimetres? So, yeah, she's a bit too tight. It's right here. Right, should be done. Should be good now, at least there's plenty of slack in here. Um, yeah, and then when it expands, when it heats up, it'll just, there's plenty, that's what the flexible pipe's there for. So, we should be pretty good now. Um, yep, feel better about that. All back together, 
Should be pretty good there now. Alright. Head home. So another day back up here in the paddock with the ewes and the cows. This trough is fixed. So it's held water overnight. They haven't broken the fitting again. But another issue is there was a couple of cows out in the forestry block next door to us and the neighbours. They've broken a wire. So we've got the drone and I've got some fencing gear. So we'll go and fix that before they all get out. Oh, so I didn't get any drone footage. Got the cows back in. But yeah, it's probably my fault because they went looking for water. Uh, the fence on the bottom of this paddock is all munched. Still one that I haven't resurrected since we came here, so that's next on the list to do. Um, but I did find a fellow cast fellow handler. So we'll um, patch up this fence just down here and head home before it gets too dark. All right, here's our issue. Top two barbs broken. Um, yeah, so we'll just add some more in if we need to and just strain them up. All fixed for now <laughs> until the barb breaks again somewhere else. But yeah, all fixed for now. We'll uh, pack up, gotta climb up the hill just up there, and head home. So, just up here, <laughs> admiring the view really, um, just before I head home to that Doxford. He's obviously got rugby training there tonight. Um, I want to put a little quiz to everyone that's still watching. Um, I saw an animal here on the way up uh, when I came up the first time just to check on these cows, make sure they had water. And it's an animal that's not really meant to be here. It, um, we have seen them here in the past. They, yeah, they do reside around this area generally. Um, but not the slow down, if that gives you a hint. So yeah, flick it in the comments, give us your best guess. First person to enter correctly gets Kiwi Farmer Singlet. Um, let's just say only open to New Zealand and Aussie. Give it your best guess, let me know what you think, drop it in the comments, thanks very much. And uh, we'll leave this video here, time to go home. Yeah.